just, if I may, a word on the, on the Euro crisis more generally. The Irish government wishes to see a strong and decisive outcome from the European Council this weekend in order to achieve medium-term stability and to restore certainty and confidence to the Eurozone. We support decisive action to ensure that a sustainable solution is found for Greece. We want to see a strong demonstration of solidarity with Greece, including agreement on a package which ensures delivery of the next tranche of funding for Greece. We want to see the EFSF utilised in the most flexible way possible to raise its capacity and ensure fairness, including safeguarding the other programme countries and vulnerable economies within the Eurozone. We wish to see a credible strategy for recapitalisation of European banks, which are bending under the weight of solvency debts. And we want to see renewed commitment to the swift implementation of the economic governance measures which have already been agreed between the Member States. Amidst all of this discussion of bond yields and market confidence, I would like to see European Member States, and especially European leaders, invoking the sort of passion, commitment and sense of solidarity that engendered this great political project some 60 years ago. It is perhaps worth noting that today, October 20th, marks the 66th anniversary of the opening of the Nuremberg Trials. Europe has come a very long way since tens of millions of people were slain on the continent um, during the two world wars at the start of the last century. Most of our citizens have absolutely zero recollection of the devastation and destruction caused by war on this continent and the impetus that it gave to European economic and the European economic and political project. That does not, however, mean that we can afford to abandon that impetus or weaken our resolve to find common solutions to the common challenges which we face. We're very lucky today that we have a peaceful con continent. We're lucky that we have a secure continent. We're lucky that we have a prosperous continent. The peace, security and prosperity did not happen by accident. It's the product of painstaking cooperation, of trust, of solid solidarity and of sacrifice. These are values which should drive and shape our actions today every bit as much as they did 60 years ago when the European project was first conceived. I hope that when our leaders meet to find a lasting solution to the Euro crisis on Sunday, they will have these values at the core of their deliberations. Cooperation, trust, solidarity and sacrifice are needed today, just as they were needed in constructing the new Europe from the ashes of World War II. Indeed, perhaps even more so. Our leaders can't afford to forget that at this, that at this pivotal moment in our history. Thank you.